one. Hello everybody, ReaperX1 here again, playing some more TerraTech 0.6.2, the newest stable version. And recently I've been doing a lot of builds, and some pretty big builds, so it's been kind of slow and a little laggy. So I kind of needed this to do some straight battling for a while. Not even going to worry about picking up blocks, just going to go out, blow stuff up. Other fair salt flats, what better place to do it, right? Yeah, I get all the biggest stuff coming in at me. Well, build my little recharge station back there. Now it's just time to let some build up here. Get something to fight. Got one guy there, he looks like a decent start. Not too sure without his bubbles. Mm -hmm. Might not take too long though. I'm just hoping that I don't bounce them all over the place with my bubbles. The thing here though is if you notice I keep backing up, I'm not even trying to drive forward. That's just my tech slipping down the hill. If you notice there, it actually goes to exactly where all the uh, sap jelly from the trees that I dropped are going. <coughs> So I'm going to finish up my little charge there, and I'm going to go out and blow some guys up, and these be my first victim. Just a little warm up. See, look at that, sliding sideways though. Get this guy up here, he thinks he's safe in the grassland. I don't follow your rules. I go everywhere, if I can get there. <laughs> Can't really seem to get up that hill very good though. Oh well, I got him lured down. That fire works pretty nice. And they have hellfire rifles on the side, don't hurt either. Now well, this guy, I had him targeted from the start. I just took the, way or the roundabout way of getting to him. Well, he just wasn't too bad, he lasted a little bit. Aw, oh, little guys again. See, I was hoping to have some big guys. Maybe even something that would match me in size. I figured most of them wouldn't have their shields and such, but at least then they'd actually have a chance of doing me some damage. The little guys though, they get stuck underneath, they could do some damage I figure. <laughs> They're getting through them big bubbles. Uh, another one of them guys. Well, maybe that's a different version. I don't know, I can't remember. What the last guy was. But yeah, it seems like I'm getting a lot of littler, smaller guys. Oh, come on, aim up there. Get up on him. I just can't seem to get at him. My guns won't aim up high enough. Hell's too steep for me to climb. Maybe if I get on a bit of an off, fun me straight. Didn't want to be square with the hill, I want to get my... Oh, 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 no, just sliding. Corrode. Oh, well. Maybe later. Ah, eh, here's a little bigger guy. Got the megatons on him. Oh, uh, well, he lasted a little bit. Got me flashing. More little pipsqueaks. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get those big battles I was hoping for. Not too sure. But I figured I'd get this guy out and do a little bit of <laughs> real testing. And I guess this is as close as I'm going to get to real testing. Because these big guys, they're all fun to build and everything, but with the way the game is, I just tend to build them, use them for a good round, put them away. Get them out of my main game so it ain't lagging everything down, or I drive them way the hell out there and leave them. I was thinking of putting AI on this guy and strand him way out somewhere off in the distance. But, I don't know. I got other ideas and I could really use all the blocks back. Because I got another version of this in the R&D that I've been working on, and it's quite, eh, it's a little bit different. And it costs quite a bit of money. 
I think, to get it into the game. It's not done yet, and the last I checked it was about six and a half million dollars for the DVDs. So I might need the parts back to sell. And I'll have to go around here and clean up all this mess when I'm done. Yeah, I figure I won't clean nothing up, I just want to see how much of a mess I can make. But, with these just, the smaller, even the bigger guys I'm getting, they're not really enough of a mess to add up the way I was hoping. But, it's still fun nonetheless. This tag handles pretty good. If it wasn't as laggy as it is, it would be actually a really nice thing to drive around. It turns fairly good. It's not super fast turning radius or turning speed, but it's got enough weapons on it where it's damaging stuff no matter what side you're on. So it can always fight no matter what. And maybe need something lower to the ground for projectile weapons though, or laser weapons. Those little guys, they're getting right in under the saws and that. So, that's something to think about for my next one that I build. But I got looking around on the uh, line there and been talking to some people on the forums and there's tell of maybe a new update coming with a few new fixes that I've been kind of waiting for. The one conveyor I think will be fixed and just small stuff for now, not necessarily a big update, but a really nice one nonetheless. So I might have to go and look and see if I get one of them today. If so, then well, I'll probably be starting over again. Because there's talk of grade 4 and 5 licensing for the GSO. Now I'm going to try this save maybe first. See if I can continue on with it. Just to see if it still works right. But I probably will start a new one. New series. Just get a true test of the new update. <coughs> might even do a little bit of a preview of one of my creative saves that I've got, well, my most current one. Just because there's uh, a new tech switching feature coming in, and it's supposed to be way more reliable, lag's not supposed to affect it, so I might have to bring in a couple monsters, see how good I can switch around. Because if I can switch tech no matter what the lag is, I'm going to build some crazy Oh, I was going to say that other rest word, but stuff. <laughs> Not necessarily crazy, but probably my train track you've seen. That thing's going to get finished a lot better. A lot faster. A bunch of other big techs that I got. Oh, I can work on them so much nicer. Oh, I'm excited for that one. That was a good explosion. I like that one. Nice big cloud. Oh, all in all, I'm starting to get a little bit of variety here, but I'm just not getting the size I was hoping for. I was hoping for at least half the size of my guy. I could have just ripped them apart, though. That was sweet. Destroyed him. Poor little guy, didn't even have a chance. I don't know if I care, though. <laughs> I get bad when the evil side of me comes out. Just all death and destruction, everything goes. Not really death, it's more destruction. Just blowing up tech here. The theory behind it is there's a little escape thing for the guy inside the cab, so he just takes off and that's who comes back in your next cab. That's why you don't actually die in the game. So they got very good escape pods, which is awesome, because <laughs> I would have had to restart like a million times. But that's part of the fun of it, though. Someday, maybe they'll put in more of a survival mode like it used to be, but I don't even think I was playing when it was like that, where you died once and it was all over. It hasn't been for, since recently that I started actually really dying more. Well, like all good things, I gotta come to an end at some point probably need these parts for later so I better clean them up get them back in my SCU and get ready for the next little bit of craziness so if you like what you've seen throw some likes around head to my channel and subscribe 
jump down into the comments even just to say hello. I'd love to hear from all of you. So until next time, everybody, have a good one. Bye.